right now. Vote! Now! Vote! Now! Vote. now. Awesome! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Good morning, Bainbridge. Good morning. Good morning, Decatur County. Good morning. It's a beautiful day to be in South Georgia. Thank you so much for coming out. How are y'all feeling? <laughs> Bainbridge, you know the polls are open, right? Yeah. The polls are open right now. So say it with me. Say vote. Vote. Say vote. Vote. The polls are open right now. The polls are open right now. And the whole country is watching us. The whole country is watching Georgia right now. Because Georgia has the power right now to make history. Georgia is making history right now. Think about how far we've come, Bainbridge. Think about how far the South has come. Think about how far Georgia has come. This is the most competitive battleground state in the country with two Senate runoffs to determine control of the United States Senate right here in Georgia. We have the power to shape history as Georgians. Amen. And your standard bearers. And again, just think about how far we've come. You got the young Jewish son of an immigrant mentored by John Lewis. Yeah. Running alongside a black preacher who holds Dr. King's pulpit at Ebenezer Baptist Church. Think about yeah. how far we've come, Georgia. Yeah. And we're running against like the Bonnie and Clyde <laughs> of corruption. That's right. How did we wind up with David and Kelly? Uh, that's a great question. How did we wind Money. up with David and Kelly? Money. <laughs> Two, you, yes, young man. Oh. Is this, okay. A dollar bill. <laughs> Thank you so much, young man. I think I might have to return this to you. I gotta check with my team. I appreciate it. What's your name? Leon. Thank you so much. Everyone, give Liam a round of applause. Yeah. Getting them started early. David and Kelly. Really, we have bigger and better things to talk about than David and Kelly. But just reflect for one moment on the fact that both of our United States Senators, when they learned a deadly virus was coming to this country that could kill hundreds of thousands of Americans, not only lied to us about the threat, they called their brokers. Yep. They saw it as an opportunity to make money. And while they were enriching themselves in office, they obstructed economic relief for the people who pay their salaries. We deserve better than yeah. David Perdue and Kelly Leffler. Yeah. And retirement is coming for David Perdue and Kelly Leffler. Yeah. Because Georgia, we have the power now to decide who represents us. And this is a movement, you can see it right here, this is a movement for health, 
jobs and justice for the people, for all the people. Health, jobs, and justice for all the people. It's not that complicated what we need and what we deserve as human beings, as Americans, as Georgians. Health, jobs, and justice. Bainbridge, do you believe like I do that health care is a human right yes, and not just a privilege for those who can afford it or live in the right zip code? Yes, yes, health care is a human right, Bainbridge. Yes. Yes. Insurance companies shouldn't be able to deny us a policy just because we have a pre-existing condition like asthma or diabetes or heart disease. No one should lack access to the best health care in the world because they don't have enough money in their bank account or because they live in the wrong part of the state. I was in Cuthbert, Georgia yesterday. They just lost their hospital in October, in the middle of a pandemic. Southwest Georgia Regional Medical Center has closed down. Young lady at the hospital, at the remains of the hospital, told me they don't even have a doctor in town now. This is America. Every community deserves a hospital. Every community, every Georgian deserves access to the best health care in the world. We can make that happen. We can deliver federal dollars to reopen the nine hospitals that have closed in 10 years and open 10 more. We can build health clinics to serve every community across this state. It's about priorities. We have the resources to do it. We have the resources to ensure every Georgian has great health insurance, to expand Medicaid, to build medical facilities and hire new doctors and nurses because nothing's more important than our health. Nothing. Health, jobs, and justice for all the people. For all the people. Let's talk about jobs. This pandemic has taken such a toll on our economy and small businesses in particular and working people and all of those who have been putting their lives on the line, stocking shelves, working in hospitals and clinics, driving, keeping the lights on, toiling in the fields. All of those who have been working so hard have been let down by our elected officials, let down badly. It's been eight months since they passed economic relief for this state. The Senate has been blocking the direct financial relief that the people of Georgia need for more than half a year when people are suffering through no fault of their own. See, they don't care about ordinary people. They don't care. If they cared, they would have acted. Their actions speak louder than their words. If they cared, they would have done something about it. They would have passed legislation to help people. They don't care. David Perdue doesn't care about you. David Perdue hasn't held a single public town hall meeting in six years as our senator. Just think about that. David Perdue is too much of a coward to come out and debate me in public. Yeah, chicken! But the same senator who won't answer questions in public, who won't debate, he sells meetings openly. If you want some of David Perdue's time, you gotta pay for it. (laughs) Have y'all seen this invitation he sends out to lobbyists in Washington? It's got all this fancy writing on it, like like he's inviting you to the ball. (laughs) And what it promises you, just wrap your head around this. For a $7,500 corporate check, David Perdue promises four meetings per year, access to his home, a retreat on a private island, and an end of year phone call. That's corruption. That's pay to play. Period. No matter how you look at it. That's right, sir. No matter how you look at it, that is corruption. Selling meetings while he enriches himself in office and obstructs economic relief for ordinary people. Georgia, retirement is coming for Senator David Perdue, and then you will pass the economic relief that the people of this state deserve. January the 5th, he's over. 
That's right. That's and right. Donald Trump is leaving. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Donald Trump is leaving. Yeah. Yeah. You may not know it yet, but Donald Trump is leaving. Yeah. And maybe you're feeling in your hearts for the first time in four years what I'm feeling in mine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You almost forgot what that felt like. Do you remember that feeling? That's hope. Yeah. It's been four years. Yeah. We need to raise our eyes and understand now what's possible in this country. That's right. That's right. We get to decide what happens next. Georgia gets to decide what happens. Georgia gets to decide. We can pass the most ambitious jobs and clean energy and infrastructure and economic development program in American history. We can upgrade our public schools. We can build new transport and transportation. We can build those clinics and hospitals. We can make Georgia the number one producer of clean energy in the American South. We can create tens of thousands of good paying jobs across this state. We can make sure every community has a hospital to serve it. We just have to vote. We just have to vote, Bainbridge. Because let's be very clear about this. If Mitch McConnell holds on to the Senate, he's gonna do exactly what he tried to do to Obama, to Joe and Kamala. They will block everything that we need. Georgia has the power to make that happen. Georgia has the power to ensure we can actually get things done for the people. Health, jobs, and justice for all the people. Let's talk about justice. The 14th Amendment of our Constitution is already meant to guarantee equal protection under the law for all people. But when Ahmaud Arbery is shot to death in broad daylight on camera in the street in Glen County, Georgia, and the local authorities just look the other way because he's a young black man, that makes a mockery of equal protection under the law. Yes, sir. So Bainbridge, are you ready to pass a new Civil Rights Act to secure equal justice for all people, regardless of race and regardless of class, and to pass a new Voting Rights Act to protect the franchise and stop the suppression of votes? Bainbridge, we have the power to make that happen. Health, jobs, and justice for all the people, Bainbridge. The polls are open. So say it with me now. Say vote. Vote. Say vote. Vote. Thank you so much for having me. I'm looking for, we're gonna have time for some Q&A. And I'm just grateful to you. I'm asking you to work your hearts out for these next three weeks, not for my sake. It's not about me, it's not about my ambition. It's not about the glory of any political party. It's about our community. It's about our state. It's about our country. It's about humanity. We can make history and make a difference that will help people. So let's get out there and vote. Yes, Looking forward to your questions. Thank you so much.